Good Thursday morning. More people going back to work, and now that more businesses are allowed to reopen, for parents, it has been a waiting game up until this week when the governor gave the okay for these daycares to open. Yeah, but this morning, some daycare owners are wondering how are they supposed to provide child care for families if the state is reducing the number of kids they're allowed to care for. Candy Rodriguez checked in with the daycare owner in Hutto who fears that she's going to have to turn away some kids. Good morning. That's because the state's latest health protocols lowered the cap on the number of children inside daycares. And it all depends on the child's age and the number of caregivers. For owners Joyce and Jim Strain of Hutto's Hippo Learning Station, it's created a puzzle they're trying to solve. What impact is this going to have financially of having to raise rates? Uh, the smaller centers possibly being knocked out. And with these decreased numbers, it's where am I going to be able to put the children without having to turn people away? Joy says the state's cap on children's capacity will lead to a reduction in child care services they can offer. Her business could lose up to $10,000 monthly. Well, this just turns around and I feel like I'm in a schoolyard fight and just got kicked you know where, you know, because now all of a sudden it's kind of like they just, you know, all of a sudden took... Pull the rug out from yeah, under you a little bit. Right out from under That's because the state changed the formula for daycares. For example, for two caregivers per room, previous standards allowed 10 infants, now just eight, or 33 year olds, now just 20. In fact, every group was reduced anywhere from 38 to 80 percent. And there are nine different age groups, each one's different. Now we were seeing the end of the tunnel, and then now it's like, whoa, what are they doing now? <laughs> Because of this, Joyce is trying to figure out if they should continue the after school program the center offers for older children or if they should end it and use that space to separate and take care of the young ones. Back to you. Yeah, it's a tough choice, Candy. Thank you. We did ask the owners that Candy talked with what protocols the state should put in place, and Joyce says they're ready and they've been maintaining those standards and ensure children's health and safety. And the Strains also own a Pathways Child Development Center up in Round Rock. So they got a lot of tough choices to make. They do. Also this morning, child care benefits are changing for essential workers and low-income families. The Texas Workforce Commission says that starting June 1st, low-income parents will have to start paying, paying a portion of their child care costs. That's if they receive financial assistance. If parents can't pay, they can apply to get a waiver. We have a closer look at these changes right now at KXAN.com.